Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to all my students. I hope you all will be fine and please take care of your healthy. To so all my students uh, for Zainal Abidin from Sesma, Sekolah Menengah Sains Sultan Mahmud. Uh, welcome back to uh, biology class. Before we start our lesson, uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, to subscribe my channel and share this video to all your share to all your friends. Okay, uh, in our previous class before, in our previous lesson, you have learned about subtopic 7.1 about the production of energy through cellular respiration. Okay, before we start uh, our lesson with new subtopic, uh, let's refresh our memories about what you have learned uh, in previous videos. In previous videos, you have learned about production of energy through cellular respiration. I hope you can remember uh, our learning standard, our objective in the first subtopic, which is about the necessity uh, of energy in metabolic processes. And then you can identify the main substrate that used in energy production. And then you also learn about uh, the type of cellular respiration. Okay, how many types of cellular respiration? Correct. Number one is aerobic respiration. Number two is and aerobic respiration and number three is fermentation okay let's continue uh, our lesson on chapter seven uh, se about cellular respiration today you will continue our lesson on subtopic 7.2 about aerobic respiration in this subtopic we have three learning standards Okay, the first one is uh, to conceptualize energy of production from glucose during aerobic respiration in cells. Number two is to write a word equation for aerobic respiration in cells. And number three, to conduct an experiment to study the aerobic respiration. Okay, let's start with the first learning standard about the energy production from glucose during the aerobic respiration in cell. Okay, in previous lesson, you have learned that uh, the main substrate for cellular respiration is glucose. And in this lesson, in this subtopic, you will learn how the glucose can produce energy through aerobic respiration the first thing you need to know is the meaning of aerobic respiration i have explained about the meaning of aerobic respiration in subtopic 7.1 aerobic respiration is the breaking the process of breaking down of glucose in the presence of oxygen to release chemical energy so aerobic respiration is a type of respiration that need oxygen and glucose to produce chemical energy. Aerobic respiration uh, start with glycolysis process. What is glycolysis process? Glycolysis process is a process of breakdown of glucose by enzyme. Enzyme is needed to break down the molecule of glucose and then this process occurs in cytoplasm the process of glycolysis will start with the breakdown of one molecule of glucose into two molecules of pyruvate and this molecule of pyruvate will be oxidized in mitochondrion so 
uh, when the glucose is break down into two molecules of pyruvate this molecule of pyruvate will bring into the mitochondrion to continue with the process of oxidation so the process of glycolysis will turn the glucose into pyruvate okay which is occurs in cytoplasm and then the pyruvate will move into the mitochondrion to be oxidized by enzyme and it will produce carbon dioxide water and energy the energy produced by the oxidation of pyruvate will be used to combine an inorganic phosphate with the molecule of adp adenosine diphosphate and then it will produce atp adenosine triphosphate which consists of three molecule of phosphate so the energy uh, produced in oxidation of pyruvate will be stored in the form of atp when the adp is bind with phosphate to form atp these atp molecules have weak phosphate link when it broken the energy is released to supply to the cell to help us carry out our daily activities so when the energy is needed the atp will be broken down and it will release the energy and uh, it will supply to all cells in our body to carry out all metabolic processes so this atp will be broken down into adp and phosphate it will be formed adp adenosine diphosphate and a molecule of phosphate okay so this is the full equation of aerobic respiration a molecule of glucose is oxidized by oxygen to produce carbon dioxide water and energy or the chemical equation for glucose c6 h12 o6 plus six molecule of oxygen and then it will produce six molecule of co2 carbon dioxide uh, and uh, six molecule of water h2o six h2o and 38 molecules of atp which equal to 2898 kilojoule of energy so this is the overall process of anaerobic respiration when we combine the reaction that occurs inside the cytoplasm glucose is break down into pyruvate and then uh, the reaction that occurs in mitochondria uh, which is the molecule of pyruvate is oxidized uh, into carbon dioxide water and energy and then the energy produced will be formed uh, in a form of uh, adenosine triphosphate molecule atp okay that's all uh, for subtopic 7.2 about and uh, about aerobic respiration before we end our lesson today i would like to ask you a few questions to make sure you understand what you have learned in this video uh, we have two learning standards accept the experiment okay the first one i want to ask is what is the meaning of aerobic respiration okay question number two what is the process that involved in aerobic respiration number three the process of glycolysis occurs in two stages the first stage occurs in cytoplasm and stage number two 
occurs in mitochondria. What happened in cytoplasm and what happened in mitochondria? And the last question is what is the equation, word equation for aerobic respiration? Okay, to test your understanding in subtopic 7.2, don't forget to follow my Telegram channel. I will provide, I will create a few questions, a few uh, quiz in my channel and you can answer the quiz there. Okay, that's all for our class today. Uh, I hope we can uh, meet again in our next biology class to finish this chapter, eh? chapter 7, about cellular respiration. So we have uh, 7.3 subtopic about fermentation. Okay, thank you for joining my class and I hope you continue your um, revision to make sure you really understand about this subtopic. Okay, that's all. Wallahu alam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And bye-bye.